Yes, I'm back again, as promised in the first video. Uh, we've got, I've oh, just got the empty box here, but uh, this is RP, RPM models, I believe. Uh, we'll look at it better in a minute. Uh, yeah, if you've got any background noise with the computer, it's just uh, uploading the first video on Wolverine. Just in case you didn't see them both. Uh, it's, it's a two video day today. Uh, right, yeah, we'll go down to the bench. Uh, this, I keep saying things are going to be a quick one, but there isn't a lot to this, but I do like to show it off and then put it on as a, as a, in a playlist so I can, uh, as I progress with the figure, people can see as it was, you know, out the box and then uh, see the figure painted. Uh, so I must have had this, oh, I don't even, I don't know if it was last year or, or very early of this year, because we are still in this year, aren't we, Gav? Uh, this has actually been signed by by the owner, uh, Hugo Miguel Pereira, owner and founder, it says on the box, and it's numbered 68 of 150. Uh, and as I say, it's for General Morat, uh, looking slightly younger, uh, on the Battle of Abukia uh, in Napoleon's invasion of Egypt. Let's go and take a look. Right, thanks for joining me at the bench, guys. Uh, it comes in a nice sturdy plastic box, uh, obviously just uh, a bit of advertising stuff, well not advertising, we'll tell you what it is. Now they do this as well in a 1 9th bust I believe, or 1 10, probably 1 10, uh, but don't, just you'll have to go on something like El Greco and have a look. Uh, I've got no, no uh, tie-ins to this company and I've got no tie-ins to El Greco when I mention those, I just like to shout out decent service and I always get it from El Greco so I'm quite happy to shout them out when I buy stuff off them. Uh, comes in one bag, uh, it was all securely wrapped up in really heavy bubble wrap so nothing was going to fly around. Uh, as you can see with a, a mini bust, there's my thumb, yes I'm sorry about the dirt, I should have cleaned it first, uh, and that's our, our main torso and head. So uh, that's the size of a mini bus compared to the big ones that you see. Now I've never actually painted a mini bus before, so this is going to be new to me. Uh, they do also, from I believe, from the same period uh, of the invasion of Egypt, which was was it 1798 to 1801, something like that. I should do. I've just bought a load of books for it uh, earlier on in the year. Never mind. Uh, he got stranded, obviously the, the uh, French got stranded, uh, Napoleon did what Napoleon does good at, which is a uh, skedaddle and get back to France. Uh, obviously a very, uh, a, a general that knew his stuff, but I never, never liked the political side of Napoleon. Uh, abandoned the lads in, in, uh, when they invaded Russia and, uh, and, uh, abandoned them when they invaded, uh, when they before that when they invaded Egypt there's a trend going on there uh, anyway <laughs> we digress uh, really great facial details can we get in a bit closer Gav there we go I mean look at that that's fantastic as a painter that's all you need uh, tiny bits of pouring uh, stuff you've got to get it off there that's obviously to to go into a plinth if that's what you're going to do but you can cut that off as well uh, I'd put a little brass in fact I bought a brass a smaller brass plinth for him to go into a wooden plinth uh, then I've got uh, blue jacket uh, I believe and uh, obviously gold braid around it uh, and the same underneath so there'll be some nice colours there not sure if I'll paint this in metallic or non-metallic yet but I do like that face, that's really good. That's why I paint busts for mainly as the faces. Uh, they, from what I could see, I'm not going to stuff this up now, aren't I? And now uh, he's on a horse here. I say, Gav, where's the horse? Well, he's not here. But uh, to give you an idea, you either like busts or you don't. No, no, I know you're chuckling away. No, no, no. Let's not make your own jokes up in the back seats there, right? Uh, there's his. his uh, Reigns, that's the word I was after. Obviously I can't, I should have thought of this, shouldn't I? I may put a bit of blue tacking, I could have held them all on. And then he... 
got a lovely fit. You may have to just put a bit of a bit of filler in just to uh, just to obviously get a perfect uh, perfect join. Uh, I've tried all these out before, so I know that apart from the sword, which is in its uh, what they've done, is left it on a on a casting plug there, which is great. I think gives it stability. Um, can't really tell there. You're, I would say probably seven out of ten times that looks like it's got a slight bow. Maybe a bit of hot water might do that, uh, but it's not as bad as I've seen on a lot of lot of swords. Uh, yeah, the whenever you get resin, it's it's always if you're going to get a sword or anything that type of sh thin type shape, you're, you're always on a good chance of it being bowed out of shape. I'll often even replace them and with with either styrene sheet uh, if I can cut it and put the blood groove in, uh, or the air air channels, whatever you want to call them. But this one looks like it can uh, can go okay. Uh, so yeah, that fits into the, obviously the the sleeve. So that's that. Uh, and his hat, I tried that on earlier. Uh, it's a fore and aft hat rather than like that. So uh, we're going that way. Uh, and m like with most of these, there'll be a very slight amount of filling with some green stuff or any epoxy filler that you you decide. I wouldn't try using things like. Uh, um, uh, plastic putty or anything like that because it, it's not designed to fill those type of gaps so I, I tend to use some form of epoxy putty it can be uh, any any one that you want really um, and then just uh, rather than just smoothing it out I'll usually just make it look a bit like the hair but now I think that's fine again the, these are casting plugs obviously here uh, you, the only thing you, I often it's is looking for for uh, like for the feather details. Were they just all white? Were they sometimes in the early period? And they'd even be tricolour, so they'd dye the the, the the feathers. You know, the red, white, and blue. And I think these would be probably white though, or sometimes black as well. Uh, but no, going to be doing this one next. Uh, uh, I've been meaning to do it for a while, and other again, other things pop up <laughs> as they usually do with me. So. Uh, Thanks for stopping by and taking a look. Um, I wasn't even sure whether to paint this one on camera or not, but it's quite small. So um, I might do it for another bust. We'll see. Uh, but, uh, yep, again, I'll need to clean off. There's obviously some type of just crud on there, but um, always give them a good... Uh, uh, well, like, you know, we do with all the type of you know, whatever resin that you have or, you know, styrene for that matter. You know, just give them... Or metal figures you know give them a, a good scrub off first uh, I I'll normally do a, a the normal dishwashing soap and that but then I usually just wipe them over again with um, some isopropyl alcohol uh, but before you do all that get any drilling if you're gonna put a like I say I'll probably take this this off here and uh, and drill a hole ready for for the uh, because I'll probably paint him uh, on uh, use the blast brass plinth on a piece of uh, scrap wood uh, just to hold him so I can paint him right guys thank you very much uh, if these are quite cheap by the way I'm trying to think it's been that long I can't remember but they weren't expensive and I think uh, I, I think it was around the 20 quid mark uh, they're not expensive uh, for the for the quality that you're getting uh, and as I say, uh, this guy does. Um, he's obviously doing a, a little, a little section of, or has done the little section of, the early Napoleonics uh, in in the Egyptian campaign. As I say, I think there's two or three. There's a Hussar figure. I think he's got a standing Hussar up against a wall, and you get the wall and everything as well. Um, so yeah. Thanks a lot guys uh, and we'll catch each other as always very soon on another video.